Hey there and welcome to another video. My name is Hugh and in this video I'm going to answer the most common question I get about hedging. Isn't hedging the same thing as a stop loss? No, it's not. And I'll show you exactly why. Here's an example that will illustrate the differences between stop losses and hedges and why you might want to use one or the other. All right, so just looking at price action here, it looks like price is pretty weak. It's trying to go up, right? It made this run here, but even that wasn't too organized. It was kind of choppy and then price kind of failed and it looks like it's making two more gasps at it but then there are these big pin bars up here and there's this big move down so a lot of traders will put a trade here and sell right there with a stop loss here and then it maybe put a take profit down here right near these lows okay so let's move that forward and boom you get stopped out right the profit target was missed here and then it got stopped out and that's it the trade is cooked and as you can see the loss was one minus one percent so you can obviously re-enter this trade and that's fine but with a stop loss once you're out you're out now let's roll this back and take a look at a hedging example okay so i'm going to take the hedging trade in exactly the same place and i'm going to do the same thing except use a stop loss so i'm going to put the take profit down here and then i'm going to sell and then now i'm going to put a buy pending order above this where I would have put the stop loss. Okay, so it's there. And then I'm going to place that. Oh, that's a buy stop. That's why. Okay, so now I'm going to move it forward. And you'll see the difference here. Okay, so price came down. It missed the take profit that's way down here. So it entered the buy. I'm going to start watching the price action to see what happens. And at this point, I can't lose any more than the difference between the profit or loss between the buy and the sell, right? So I'm going to keep moving it forward. And at this point, my uh, thesis here is still that price action is weak. And I think that it'll drop much further uh, simply based on the price action. See how big these... Um, drops are and then it's kind of struggling to get back up and then you got these long wicks at the top so I believe in this case that price is going to go down so um, okay so it's kind of failing at that point right so I want to find a place to get out of that buy potentially out of profit okay so it's retesting that high um, I think that's probably a good place to get out so let's close that order there all right so I took a small profit on that one and I'm going to move the chart forward and see what happens. Now, if I have time to uh, watch the charts, I'll watch the charts. If not, I'll put in a, uh, a generous hedge again uh, to limit my risk. So price is going up, up, up. So it's coming back down in my direction. So let's continue to watch this. Okay, it popped into profit slightly. Now it, it popped over uh, that last pin bar but whenever it does that I want to make sure that it's a solid move and I don't want to take a trade uh, too early so let's move forward and see what happens okay boom so it immediately rejected that level so that shows me that uh, price action is really weak so at this point it'd probably be a good idea to hedge this again put in a pending order and put it maybe up here just in case price does run away it's not very likely but it's good to have something in place at least so let's move this forward and see what happens okay boom so the take profit on the original trade got hit my original thesis was correct but it just took a little bit longer to get there than I anticipated however instead of taking a hard loss in the beginning with the stop loss I used the hedge to be more flexible and I actually made a little bit of money on the long side because I did have that hedge in place so this is a perfect illustration of how hedging can potentially make you money in both directions and you don't have to take a hard loss with the stop loss now once the profit target gets hit obviously now I want to close the pending order so I'm going to go to pending orders and cancel that And that's it, the trade is done. All right, here's another example trade. So price hit a resistance level here. So you can draw that in right there. And I'm thinking that price is going to drop. So what most traders will do is they will take a short here. They will put the stop loss up here. 
And then let's say that you shoot for maybe right there as the take profit, right? Okay, so we move this forward and price, boom, gets stopped out. Again, you took a loss on the trade. That's it, this trade is done. And this can have a negative psychological impact, especially if there are a few losers in a row. Now let's take a look at that exact same trade, but using hedging this time for risk management. So I'm going to take the sell here. I'm gonna put the profit target down there and then I'm going to sell and then I'm going to put in a pending order for a buy stop above this here and let's see how this plays out so now I'm going to move this forward and initially the uh, first hedge will be hit right so now we want to take a look at what is price look like it's going to do what is the price action telling us Okay, so it's down and it popped back up. Okay, so since price has rejected this level really hard twice, so this is about the support level right there, right? It's very likely that price is gonna go back up again. So what I can do in this situation is I can just add another buy. Right, okay, and I'm not gonna be adding buys and sells um, indefinitely. This is not Martingale. Um, I do have a different, a definite limit on the number of entries I take at certain levels. So that's part of the risk management also. So if you want to learn more about how I hedge, I have a course in the description below. You can check that out. Otherwise, keep watching this video. So we're going to move this forward. And yeah, price is taking off. So I was completely wrong about the uh, where the price was going to go on this trade. I thought it was going to drop, come back down to here, and then maybe go wherever it wants to go. But completely wrong. But with hedging, I did not have to take the complete loss. So if we look at the status of all the trades here, you got about 13.8% profit and you got 9.8% loss. So if I close all these out, this, that will net a profit. So that is how hedging is different from a stop loss. The number one benefit is you have the potential to make money both long and short at the same time and even if you're wrong about the initial direction of the market. If you want to learn more about hedging, be sure to check out my hedging playlist and I have my Zen 8 Forex hedging program available if you want to get all of the strategies that I use. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to get more videos like this and thanks for watching.